Hey there, stoner friends. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to attach a roach clip onto a hemp bracelet. Roach clips are a pretty handy stoner tool that stops you from burning your fingers. So let's add one to a bracelet. Your supply list includes hemp twine of any color. I chose Rasta. You also need an alligator clip of pretty much any size, some scissors, and optionally you can use some beads or maybe even a marijuana leaf charm to stick on there. Oh, and you'll need some flat needle nose pliers. The first step is to figure out how long your bracelet needs to be. So take your hemp twine and wrap it around your wrist to kind of get an idea of how big you want it and then add a couple inches for good measure. Give that a sniff and then you are ready to attach your roach clip to it. So stick your hemp twine through the little hole that seems to be on pretty much all of these alligator clips and then you're going to want to make sure your twine goes in between those two little metal flaps because that will help keep it in place. So first tie a knot, hopefully you have less trouble than I did, there we go, seems secure enough. So let's cut our second piece of hemp twine that we need. I usually do this about three lengths of my arm just to make sure that I have like more enough room because nothing is more annoying than getting close to the end of your hemp bracelet and not having enough twine. So make your ends meet and then find the middle of your piece of hemp twine and then lay it across your bracelet like this. I'm going to create this bracelet using a flat square knot. I am not very good at explaining how to do these hemp knots, unfortunately. Um, so here's a picture, and hopefully that helps. If not, maybe you can figure it out by watching me, or there's also this video on YouTube that I've watched before that does a really good job of explaining what I'm doing. So I'm just going to race through the first couple inches of my bracelet and then I'll show you the next step. So when I'm making my bracelet every once in a while I check for sizing so I just do that by laying it up against my wrist to kind of see how it fits around. So I want the roach clip to lay on the bottom of my wrist so I wanted enough hemp twine to curve around it and now that I've done that I'm going to add some beads on there. Adding beads to your hemp bracelet is super simple. All you need to do is slip it onto the middle hemp string and then continue your knotting as usual. I decided just to add three plain black beads onto this bracelet, so there they all are. The three beads fit nicely across the top of my wrist, my roach clip still at the bottom, so far so good. I'm just going to add another inch or so of bracelet and then attach my cannabis leaf charm. I am going to do this by slipping the uh, jump ring onto the outside hemp twine string. So I'm just going to slide it on there and then do a knot on the left side and then on the right side to secure it. Thank you. 
Now that my beads and charm are on my bracelet, I just need to keep doing my knotting until it is long enough that my roach clip will reach back to it and it will fit around my wrist. Almost there, almost there, and we've made it. My roach clip will now clip on to my hemp bracelet and it fits around my wrist. So just tighten that last knot and then I'm just gonna get them all close together and tie one single knot to uh, secure all my hemp twine together. I'm just gonna get that as close as possible to the last knot that I did and then pull it tight there we go and now I'm just gonna snip off the extra hemp twine I just leave like half an inch of extra on there so the last step is to take these little metal flappy things and squish them down using the needle flat nose pliers needle nose pliers I don't know pliers so I'm just gonna squish that down there and my roach clip will be securely secured to my hemp bracelet. All right, let's have a look. It functions as a bracelet, so let's check out its roach holding abilities. Yep, looks good too. Thanks for watching this week's video. Much love. Stay crafty.